Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a game review. So for today's game, I'm going to review um, what I'm considering a personal sequel to the game Monument Valley. Um, this game, Dream Machine, is actually not a technical sequel, but um, it is de uh, and it's also created by a different developer, so they're totally unrelated games. But once you get into it, you'll see um, similar elements and themes and things like that as far as gameplay goes. So I've already played the first uh, level in Chapter 1, um, just to get a hang of the controls, see how the game is, and get a general feel for the new environment. So it's available for Android and iOS. On iOS, it's, av it's available for $0.99, cents. Android is $1.16 or something like that. Uh, once you launch the game, you can um, adjust various settings, so like sound effects and music, um, log in with Google Play games if you are playing on the Android side. I assume it ties with Apple's um, Game Center or whatever it's called, I forget offhand. Um, you can also check leaderboards and statistics so you can see what um, different add-ons and upgrades you get um, or that you've won. Um, so with that I'll jump right into the game itself. So um, this is the second level in Chapter 1, Question the Laws. Um, so once you jump into it, you'll see that the um, controls are the same. You can do things like rotate the various, um, rot you use the level or the lever to rotate the various parts of the level. Um, another add-on that you'll learn when you start the game is that you can touch your little robot to um, have him change the directions. Um, and then the um so as i play the game i will jump into a little bit more about the background so you're essentially you're playing a blue robot that um malfunctions and um is exploring his new factory that um that he is working in um and as you go much like monument valley you'll learn a little bit more about the factory the robot and things like that so we're still early on we're still in the lower bowels of the factory itself as you can see i've won but the best time was a minute 19 i was figuring out i had to figure out some of the rotations and things like that um previously for to get him to the end of the level and then i earned 30 cogs here um so i'll hit continue um now in part three of the first chapter it's a level called mechanical logic so um as you can see it's getting a little bit more complicated we have um uh, more levers and gears and things like that going on so um, I'll as I play around with it um, I'll s I have to kind of see where this is gonna lead me um, I probably will need to have him walk up these um, blocks and have him go around like this and um, have him make his way into that uh, green um, dot. So actually, this is a little bit easier of a level. Maybe I'm using my muscle memory to um, get him to figure out the physics of it. But you get the same um, kind of look and feel as, uh, or the same kind of gameplay elements and style as Monument Valley, but it, with a new theme, new story, colors, levels, and all that. So if you've played Monument Valley and its add-on, and you've wanted to have uh, another game like it, then Dream Machine is definitely definitely the way to go. And um, if you're on a tight budget or you think 99 cents or $1.16 is too much, um, there's always, on the Android side at least, that you can get install Google Opinion Rewards and make some money and play it that way. Um, I didn't actually see how many levels there actually are. Um, but the one thing I do like about the game is that they give you... Um, um cogs is earning up and i guess that's their way of leveling up and something that i'm learning now is that on the main screen you can use the gears to um change levels and you can see that um beyond uh chapter four you can't go any further so as a light slight variation i know in monument valley it was a little um i, forget, I don't know what it's called but the castle or the see-through castle structure to, that you rotate around by swiping right to left and left to right is the level change there. Here you have the gears to change um, the levels and also get the, I'm assuming the progress meter, so five uh, levels per chapter. So 
the game is definitely worth checking out. I can't wait to play more and see exactly where it goes and um, what kind of interesting storyline they use to claim, complete the story and what the blue robot is all about. So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, want uh, more of my input on the game, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. And of course, you can find this screencast and more at youtube.com slash PatelN01, uh, where you can subscribe and turn on the little no notification if you use the YouTube app on your mobile device to get notified as soon as new um, reviews are available. But that's all there is for that, so thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.